Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I am back with another baby names video. These are by far my most popular videos. You guys really seem to love them. So today I am bringing you nature inspired baby names. I have a whole playlist of baby names videos if you guys want to check out my other ones. But today we are focusing on nature inspired baby names. So I'm gonna do boys and girls. I'm gonna start with the boys, so let's just get into it. By the way, I thought I would film this nature inspired video in my most plant heavy spot in the house and also wear my floral dress. So I hope you guys appreciate my thought behind that. <laughs> Great, let's get into the names. I honestly, I love the thought of doing like a theme for the name, like a nature name or like a Bible name or something like that. We honestly don't do that. We don't name our kids based off of any meaning honestly we just kind of went with the first names that we agreed on that we both liked we like having stronger names and um kind of less unique names like you're probably not gonna hear another waylon in the classroom <laughs> our kids names are lincoln graham and waylon reed just to give you like a little background on me if you don't follow me i'm Catherine, and i make mother and lifestyle videos and yeah i have two boys lincoln and waylon so anyways the very first name on the list is Clay, and I really like this one. I think it's a very cute boy name. It just means to work with Clay. A lot of these meanings are kind of obvious. I really like it, but I love to have nicknames for my kids specifically, and so I feel like I just can't think of a nickname for this one. But yeah, I still think it's a really cute one. The next name on my list is Sunny. And this could go for a boy or a girl. I think it would be really cute for either one. Sunny obviously just means sunshine, cheerful, happy temperament. And I feel like that's just such a like positive, sweet name. The next name on my list is Ren. And I feel like this one is also very unisex. I've actually seen it on a lot of girl name lists, but I feel like it could definitely be really cute on a boy. It means small bird, obviously like the wren, the bird, but I think that it would sound really cute with a lot of middle names, and I just really like this one for a boy. I could just hear it like Wren James Halston. I think that would sound really cute. The next name on my list is River. This one is just a classic nature baby name. I've heard it so much more recently. It's definitely gaining in popularity. And I mean, there's a reason why, because it's really cute. I think the nickname Riv would be very cute for this one specifically. And yeah, I just like this one a lot. The next name on my list is Everest obviously after Mount Everest, which is also my favorite ride at Disney. I love that ride. Anyways, um, it's very close to Everett, which is another one of my favorite boy names, but I think this one is very cute, and I think Ev would be a very good nickname. The next name on my list is Phoenix. It means dark red. It's after that mythological bird I'm sure you guys have kind of heard of, like if you've seen Mulan, the new Mulan. I'm sure you guys have heard of the Phoenix, but it could also be after the city Phoenix. And I think that this one is really cute. Again, I can't really think of any nicknames for this one. And I'm just so big on nicknames. I don't know why, but I think especially as kids, like it's fun to have little nicknames for your kids. And I can't really think of any right now, but comment below if you can think of any nicknames for Phoenix. The next name on my list is Rowan. And this is another one that I've seen a lot of people naming their baby boys lately. It's definitely gaining some popularity. It's a Scottish name and it's after the Rowan tree, which is a tree with red berries. And it could also mean little redhead, which I think would be really cute if you end up with a little redhead baby, which I feel like I could definitely end up with a redhead baby because I don't know if you guys can tell, but you probably really can't. But in the light, my hair gets very red. I have auburn highlights, so who knows? I might end up with a little redhead baby. Maybe I should name my next boy Rowan. <laughs> the next name on my list is Jay. And it's obviously after the Jaybird. 
I think that Jay could be a very good middle name. I'm one of those people that like to do one syllable, like more simple middle names just to kind of like make it flow. Like Waylon Reed Halston. Like I think the Reed is a really cute name, but it also just kind of like helps the name like flow together if that makes sense. So I think Jay would be a really good like middle name to kind of like fill in there if that makes sense. Okay, the next name on the list kind of makes me laugh but I like it it's really cute so the name is Ash but if y'all have ever seen 90 Day Fiance you'll know why it makes me laugh because it makes me think of the guy Ash on that show anyways if you know you know if you don't know you don't know but yeah this is also after a tree the Ash tree and I think Ash could be a very cute name the last two are two of my favorites one of them is Alder after the Alder tree this is another one that I heard recently so Somebody named their baby <laughs> that I follow on Instagram named their baby Alder and I fell in love with it I thought it was such a cute name and I don't know I just think it's so sweet Alder I think that's one that would be very good if you're going for like a more unique one because you just don't hear it very often and the last one you've probably heard me talk about before it's Forest <laughs> I have always liked the name Forest and Adam hates it. He does not want our children to get made fun of because of Forrest Gump. He thinks that everyone would make Forrest Gump jokes and I mean it's understandable but it's one of my favorites. All right I think we're gonna move on to the girl list now and by the way if you can hear Lincoln he is doing quiet time right now <laughs> so he's just in his room playing but anyways the first name on my list for girls is Opal. This is obviously after the gemstone opal and I am just obsessed with this. I have always been into all the different gemstones. I remember being so upset as a child because my birthday is in April, so my birthstone was a diamond and I feel like most people would be excited because they got like the most expensive one. Like a diamond is like, that should be exciting. But I wanted a colored gemstone, like I wanted to have a different birthstone because I thought diamond was boring. So anyways, <laughs> I like the opal. I like all the different gemstones and I think opal would be a very, very cute baby girl name. This next one is so cute. Honestly, I think all of these are cute. <laughs> I'm so into baby names right now. Did I mention I have baby fever so bad right now? <laughs> but anyways, the next name is maple and I really love this one. It's after the maple tree and somebody commented recently on my last baby name list when I put the name Mabel under a vintage name and they commented and said, what about the name Maple? And then I decided to do nature names and so I figured I'm putting Maple on this list because I love that name so much. It is such a cute name and yeah. I mean, that's all I have to say about it. I would totally name my kid Maple, but I definitely don't think Adam would be down for it. We honestly don't agree on a lot of these names, but I would totally be down for a little baby Maple. The next name on my list is Azalea, and I really like this one. It's obviously like a really pretty flower name. I just, I can't think of good nicknames. I feel like it's gotta have some good ones. I just can't think of any to pull out of it. So comment down below if you can think of any good ones to come out of Azalea. And also let me know what your favorite names are and if you have ever named your baby a nature name or anything like that, let me know in the comments. I love to just talk about baby names with you guys. The next name on my list is another flower name. It's Rosa. It obviously comes from Rose and I think it's really pretty. I honestly love all those rose variations. I was just talking about this in my last uh, video about Rosalie and Rosalind and all those different names that are kind of similar to Rose. Rosie too, that's one of Adam's favorites. So anyway, I love Rosa as well. Definitely a cute one. The next name on my list might be one of my favorites on here. It is Luna and I love it. I think it is such a sweet girl name. It's obviously after the moon. I'm obsessed. I think it is such a sweet name. I am gonna have to ask Adam about this one because I'm like serious about it. Like, come on, such a cute one. The next name on my list is Summer, and this is one that Adam actually likes. This one reminds me of the movie 500 Days of Summer, which used to be one of my favorite movies. It definitely brings back good memories, but yeah, I think Summer would definitely be a very cute baby girl name. Reminds you of 
all the good summer things. The next name on my list is Sage. I think this is a very good short and sweet name. It could be a very good middle name. And yeah, I just really like this one. The next name on my list is Holly. And I think this is a really good one, especially if your baby was either conceived or is gonna be born around Christmas time. Cause it just makes me think of Christmas and, and obviously the Christmas Holly. So I really, really like this one. The next name on my list is Sienna. And this means red earth. I've always liked this name. I remember back when I used to work at a preschool, I had a girl in my class named Sienna and she was so sweet. I always still remember that and remember loving her name specifically. So I would definitely name a baby girl Sienna. The next one on my list is Savannah and this obviously just means large grassy plain and I think this is a very good one. It could also be a good one for you if the city savannah means anything to you it's a very beautiful city i've only been there once but it is such a pretty city and i know that it is meaningful to a lot of people so if that means anything to you then you could name your baby savannah and the very last one on my list is isla and this one again one of my very top names on this one I really, really like the name Isla. It means island. It's always been one of my favorite names. I think it's so beautiful. Adam is actually really into this name too. So who knows, maybe a future baby girl if we ever have one. <laughs> Honestly, I might just be destined to be a boy mom, but if I ever get a girl, then I might end up being a baby Isla. All right, I think those were all of my nature inspired baby names. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Make sure to comment down below what your favorites were. If you have any to add to my list and if you have any suggestions for any other baby names videos that you want me to make. All right, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.